Hello, my beautiful Capricorns, and welcome to my YouTube channel or to my podcast on Spotify if you're listening to this in the audio version only. This is a general reading. Not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every single Capricorn, but some of it will. Take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe. If you like what I do, please click the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell button. It's free. Not too many things in life are these days. Let's see what we have here for your all of our energy. Starting off, you have been given the card, the Eight of Wands. There's going to be a shift of energy. I see you getting very busy, wearing a lot of hats, doing a lot of different uh, things all at once. Be careful you don't bite off more than you can chew or take more on uh, responsibility on than you can carefully and successfully handle. Don't allow yourself to get caught up in that mainstream of feeling that you have to do, do, push, push, push. Okay, allocate some of those jobs to other people or make out your to-do list. This can also be, <clears throat> you know, a, a shift in energy. If you've been in a slump, if things have been quiet, if you've been waiting for something to come into play where you can tap into those resources to escalate yourself and get moving again. So get ready to tie up those bootlaces and hit the ground running. For others, this could be indicative of the wands of Cupid. There could be somebody new that shows up very suddenly and wants to sweep you off your feet in a whirlwind romance. Isn't that nice? Starting off with your first of the three energy cards, you've got the answers you need are coming. And this is the full moon in Gemini. It's been showing up a lot in other readings as well. Um, I think if you've been working on something or waiting for something to come in, you're going to see that that energy shift is going to occur and you will get the answers that you need. If you've put out a resume, if you put out a proposal, if you're dealing with any court issues, if you've, you know, you've called somebody, uh, you're waiting to hear, are they going to come back and respond to you? You will get the answers that you need. So just a little bit of patience, my beautiful Capricorns. Your next card is courage. You're going to need to tap into your resources for some one situation or another. And, you know, go, step forward and throw your shoulders back and stand up for yourself with passion. Speak up for those less fortunate. And also, it's about being very careful, articulate, correct and impeccable about uh, what you're doing out here with your actions. Um, this isn't the time to be timid and pull back. This is about you stepping out uh, and letting the powers that be know what you're made of. Don't limit your beliefs, uh, uh, you know, of others either. Use your passion to make a difference. You know, courage doesn't mean that you aren't afraid. Fearless means fear less. Acknowledge your fear and take action anyway. Make a stand because you're strong and you're powerful, my beautiful Capricorns, and you have great valor within you. So this is amazing. Stepping up, letting the powers that be know what you're made of, being able to demonstrate that out to them and to promote yourself in a very successful way. So do it with confidence. Now you have the dog. The dog card we all know is, you know, not necessarily about an actual pet, but it can be for some of you. But dogs... You know, they, they demonstrate friendship and loyalty and devotion, companionship, uh, and they bring us this mutual benefit where we feel so much better when we've been in the company of somebody or a dog like that. It's about being with someone who demonstrates that, those uh, those beautiful qualities around you. There's going to be somebody around you that's going to step up to the plate and say, hey, I'm here for you. You know, just ask. I'm not backing down. I'm not leaving you. I will never desert you. I will always promote you to your greater good. And I will always love you for all the good, the bad, and the ugly. So great card coming in. Coming in with your tarot cards in the first row, you've been given the moon and the nine of cups. So this is telling me you need to step back from yourself. Move out of your way. You're the only thing holding you back from this success that you want is yourself. Getting caught up in that disillusion in your mind that it isn't going to happen and I haven't succeeded before. And you get yourself caught up in that in that mindset and what it does is it, it, it really slams the door in your face where you can't go forward this is about trusting your god-given talents your database what you know your education your gifts your talents that you have to promote yourself out there and have the courage to step up and do that i think you will be finding you're very busy right now and it will will at universe is asking you and the powers that be to tap into your intuition and your gut instincts too. listen to that little voice of reason that whispers in your ear that says hey 
we need to do this or hey we need to do that okay step out of your way you're going to see that it's always darkest before the dawn and you may have felt that you were sinking into this abyss and all you want to do is step out there and inhale a big fresh breath of fresh air you're going to get to do that you've got the nine of cups it's indicative of fulfillment wishes fulfilled things are going to start shifting in your favor you're going to find that what you've been working on applying yourself to uh, advocating yourself for defending yourself for promoting yourself for you're going to see this abundance come in i love it coming in next you have the judgment card and you have the four of pentacles so you're taking action right now a judgment call is coming in and you're moving in a new direction you're getting a second chance it's almost like you're going oh Thank you to the powers that be for giving this to me, um, you know, moving forward. And as you do this, you may be leaving and letting things fall uh, behind that you don't want to bring along on this next part of your journey. So you're only bringing those that want to support you, promote you, that love you, that are loyal to you here, uh, that are going to come with you on this next part of your leg of your journey. So going forward in a new beautiful direction, getting that second chance to do this. Four of Pentacles says you may be hanging on to your purse strings tighter because of this new journey you're going on and you want to be careful you have the resources to back you up. This is also the card that says you could be holding back on something. Keep your eyes open to new and different opportunities as they present themselves. Be open-minded to differences. Don't dig your heels in and say, mm, no, I've never done that before. I don't think I can with a moon card. Yeah, you can. Step up. The universe is saying, open up to that. Now, you, some of you may have applied for a loan uh, and you uh, probably will receive it. Others, you may have the resources to pay off a long-standing debt. So taking action, going forward, brand new second chance and having those resources because of your due diligence and you're being very careful, you're going to be able to do that. King of Swords comes in, knowledge. King of Swords, double meaning. So look at this. Clarification is both the king, is also the King of Swords. Getting representation, getting someone here who's advocating for you, someone who has the wisdom to stand up and promote you into your greater good. This is a card of knowledge. It's someone who is coming around you, who has the knowledge and the wisdom. Remember we said the answers you need will be coming to you. OK, so I do think that if some of you are dealing with legal issues, you're going to find that you have the best representation that you can have there. They're telling me a team is around you to protect you, promote you and lead you to that freedom and liberation you so justly deserve. Standing up for your own integrity as well, but you could also be dealing, uh, you know, with um, the powers that be. It could be a lawyer, a, the crown, a judge. Uh, you know, anybody there that you're dealing with on maybe on a legal issue. But it's also you, you, my beautiful Capricorn, standing up for yourself, defending yourself and, you know, standing in your truth and walking that line of truth and integrity. The Fool comes in next with the Queen of Pentacles. And this is you, you know, this is about change. The Fool is all about change and being uh, brave enough to take that leap off the cliff. But before you do, you don't want to be a fool and jump without checking that parachute. So this is doing the preparation, the preparatory work for before you go towards this goal, before you jump into that deep, deep dark hole or that portal that you want to go through or that door of opportunity. You need to be sure that you you have everything at your fingertips so that you're walking in there holding your head up with the courage that you need of being a confident. The Queen of Pentacles says you're planting your seeds for success and you're going to see it as long as you take your time and you're articulate and you're accurate don't think that you're going to plant your tree plant your seeds and the tree is going to grow tomorrow this is a process and you need to be patient as you work through it but the universe is giving you that nudge saying you're ready you're ready you have the resources almost to take this jump now if you're careful and prepared just be you know know that you have this ability to be like mother earth plant your seeds Wait for the proper time and you're going to see success coming in. The deals that you're making, the interviews that you're taking, um, the proposals that you're putting out there are all timely. Okay, you're, If you plan your right moment to do this, you're going to see you're going to come up aces. The death card comes in in your final row along with the four of swords. So you definitely are having to release old habits, uh, old phases in your life, old relationships, um, old contracts, old uh, ways of doing things. The, the death card says renewal and rebirth. Uh, you know, one door closes, another door opens. 
but having the vision to do this. And always when the death card shows up, endings bring new beginnings. And I think you're moving forward. As I said, with the judgment card, you've got the second chance to go after what you want. And now you're going in that direction. For some of you, maybe this judgment card was uh, the king of swords and the judgment card were uh, was a legal situation, uh, a divorce, an ending of a relationship or partnership in business. Anything can happen with this card. But it's still a good card that says, hey, guess what? You've got a second chance now to go after what you want. Just don't worry about it. The Four of Swords comes in saying you're exhausted. You need to call a truce and pull back. It's as though you're wearing yourself down. For some of you, it could have been an emotional issue that did this to you. She lays here in this safety of her of her nest with her heart beside her. And she's healing through some sort of situation. But you are healing through it. If you're smart enough to know that you need to take care of yourself. Pull back. Don't allow yourself to be out here with the eight of wands running around like a chicken with your head cut off and not being organized and realizing you need me time, my time as well. You could end up with, uh, you know, lack of sleep, which can bring on many kinds of issues, emotional or physical issues. So take a time out. Step back to your safety zone here. You know, allow yourself re to rejuvenate and to heal through anything that you've had to deal with. Well, my beautiful, beautiful Capricorns. This is a very powerful reading. Um, and I really think that there's great progress here coming into you as you move through this next phase. Being able to uh, walk away from situations or end them and having the resources to go into the new beginning, the new part of your journey. And uh, it takes courage for change to come in when you're going in a new direction. And some of you may be doing it on your own. But know that there is someone here with the dog card that is faithful to you, that's there to support you, that says, hey, no matter what, I'm going in the boat with you when we go on this trip. Well, I wish you a great remainder to today, my beautiful Capricorns, my achievers, and a beautiful positive week here to look forward to. Always know I send you lots of love and many blessings, and I'll see you soon.